Hey, what's going on everybody out there? I'm Jake James Lugo and welcome to the channel and welcome to a brand new episode of JJ's First 20. We're going to be taking a look at Dragon's Crown Pro for the PlayStation 4. This game was sent to me, or at least the physical copy of the game, was sent to me by an anonymous, ugh, an anonymous fan of the channel uh, right before the holiday season, right before Christmas. So big thank you to them for that. I appreciate it a ton. Uh, let's just dive into this. Now, I've played Dragon's Crown plenty of times before. I played the original when it first came out on both PS3 and on uh, PlayStation Vita. Played it on PS4. I had the digital version of this at one point I got from Atlas, and now we got the physical version of it. So let's just dive into this bad boy just for fun. Uh, I'll probably jump between some of my characters that I have because I have a lot out here. I definitely have a lot of different characters. Uh, one thing I will say about Dragon's Crown in general is that I love... Uh, just the artwork, man. The artwork is so good here. There goes my level 73 character. I wish I had gotten up to 99 at one point, but just never had the time to do so. Uh, there's my level 19, uh, what is it, Amazon, which I might, uh, you know, I might go with that song. But you know what, no, let's stick with the level 19. Uh, we got all our allies, big, big peeps here, 64, 63, whole bunch of people. And yeah, we might actually change up and maybe start up a new character at some point. But, uh, whoops, anything else? Nope, we already don't even need to do that. So let's leave the tavern. Let's actually go and start beating up some stuff. Uh, but anyway, like I was saying, I love the artwork. There you go, Vanillaware. Look at this artwork, man. It's so need good. Five more talismans to Looks so great, man. Dragon. Need five more talismans to fight the ancient dragon. Like, let's just go into one of these shops, man, just to show you the level of freaking awesomeness of this artwork. Now, it's greatly exaggerated. I know when the game first came out, it had a little bit of controversy with uh, its character designs and just some of the, was it, look of some of the characters. I thought it was crazy. Uh, was it a bag to carry multiple items? Do I have 2K? Yeah, I got plenty of that. Let's buy that. Let's buy that get a new uh, bag or a bigger bag, I should say. And then not much. Should I get a, a potion? Increase luck, increase defense, heal potion. Let's do that. Let's get a couple of heal potions. And then let's go to one of the other, or praise items. Do we need praise anything? On a praise. This is all stuff that I've gotten, like, beforehand. That I had, uh, what is it, earned. Not really anything that I could, well, I have other, like, stuff, but again, like, not really much to do from, like, all this other stuff. But yeah, I could always deal with this another time. So let's go, let's actually go fight some stuff. Let's go kick some ass. I'm ready, son. I hope you are, too. Definitely. Look at look at how awesome and gorgeous this is. Look at the, look at these frames, son. Boy, I didn't want to hit my my own peoples, because <laughs> you could actually still attack your own people. Uh, let's go to should we go to Steven? No, let's go to the gate, because it's gonna throw us into a random area, and then we're gonna go from there afterwards. Uh, go online. Should we go online? Yeah, let's go online. Why not? Online connection was successful. Good. It's supposed to be. Go over this way. It's gonna take us into the next area randomly. It just throws us into one of the random areas. So we're going. We already have the orange talisman, but it's gonna put us in that stage anyway, just cause uh, you have to get all the different talismans to fight the final boss, which is the final dragon uh, that you have to deal with, the big like red dragon. It's pretty cool. But anyway, let's kick some ass. It's connecting. Hopefully, it connects quickly. Here we go. It's yes. Oh, yeah. Here we go. Blacked out. Here we go. Now, so we're here with other peeps. Let's deal with these morons. Yeah, look at that. Oh, look at the damage. Now, again, I'm playing as Natalie, which is the Amazon. Look at that. I love I love her attacks. Look at this. She just keeps going like Sonic the Hedgehog. Look at this. Yeah. Nice. Okay, there we go. He opens up the treasure. Treasure Ranka. Pick that up. So we exit out. Now, I don't think there's any car players that are online with us. I think that these are all, uh, was it, controlled by the, by the computer. Now... Besides the look of it, the one thing I can also say that Dragon's Crown does very well, and even though I know a lot of people aren't too crazy about it, is the controls. It just feels good to control. As you guys can see, I'm like doing all sorts of attacks. I'm like jumping around like a crazy person. Let's go over this way. 
next area. It just feels good to play, man. Like, if you love hack and slash games or just beat em ups in general, they're really, really, or this game is really, really good. You need a massive amount of damage. Whoops, I didn't want to do that. I'm gonna pick it up. No, pick, no, wait, 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 I gotta pick up my. I gotta pick up my, uh, weapon. There we go. Yeah, I didn't want that. Because I- you could actually throw your weapon down and get a whole different series of attacks. Oh, my equipment broke? Are you serious? Damn it, I gotta fix all my equipment now. Which is annoying, but... It's crazy. But let me know in the comments what you guys think about Dragon's Crown in general. Oops, get up. How am I dead? How am I dead? Am I really taking, like, mad damage from all this? Like, hold on. Okay, now I'm alive. I was about to say, like, because I, I know I'm low level compared to my... Compared to my char other characters. Destroy that wizard right there. Just beat this fool. Mm. Got him. We get some of that. We don't need those. Let's keep going. Trying what we can. Hopefully I level her up by the time this match or this mission's over. Here we go. Boss fight time. It's boss fight time. Look at that. I'm in the corner and that... Oh, I knocked down. I just hit a massive damage. Ah, stepped on so they're definitely stronger than me, so they're doing the bulk of the damage, of course. Really. Oh, get smacked up. Jeez. Okay, hold on. Let me try to heal up a little bit. There we go. Because one thing about healing in this game is that all you have to do is just stand still, and then you eat any of the food that you gather. Oh, smack me up. Where is he? He's coming back this way. Yeah, look at that. Sonic the Hedgehog attack! Ah, damn, I got smacked up. Okay, hold on. We got killed. Gotta revive me. Gotta revive me. Oh no, there we go. We're good. Doing massive damage, or they're doing massive damage. Yeah, now he got wrecked up there. Nice. Okay, we got him. We finished him. Or they finished him, I should say. I'm gonna switch over to my other character since it's stronger and end up doing more damage. Look at that. The axe just falls right on top of him. You move through the sewers and I love that VO. That VO is so good, man. But you are able so to freaking good. While circumventing the fierce battle. That's awesome. So now, next bonus round. No, let's return to town. Let's return to town because what you could do is what's cool about Dragon's Crown is that if you keep going with uh, doing different. Oh, we leveled up. Nice. See, I knew we were gonna level up at least once. So we're gonna praise. Or can we sell price? Mm, let's appraise one of them. Let's praise that one just to see. Got anything? Let's just sell. Sell. Just to keep getting some of the, the money. Uh, obtain. Items. Okay, now we're good. You were all good. Okay, take all spoils and quit. Okay, there we go. Anyway, like I was saying before, the more dungeons that you do in succession, the more your rewards just go up. You just constantly get, like, tons of rewards. Which is cool because you get, like, a bonus thing. Uh, select player. Let's, uh... Let's go with my big dude. Choose allies. Choose my allies here. Let's go with, uh... Huh. So we got a lot here. You know what? Let me get... Go with, um... This Amazon. Let me go with this dwarf. And then let's go with this sorcerer. Now, one one thing is we don't have is we don't have another sorcerer character. Randomly, I need to find a, a sorcerer character. Which is just the, the, the female met magician. Hey, let's, uh, can we select player? We gotta find, create a new one? No. 
Because I think just choosing allies... Yeah, I don't have a sorcerer character. But so much for that. But anyway, let's let's keep going. Go to the next one. That way things will be a little bit different here. You must defeat the ancient dragon who stole Vernus's power. Here's the to temple. I wonder if I can revive somebody, because in the temple you can revive yeah, you can resurrect somebody. So let's uh Oh damn. You? Jesus Christ, that costs so much. Look at they're level 255. Damn. I don't have that kind of cash. What the hell? <laughs> Okay, there's a level 61 sorcerer, Ophelia. We could do that. Yeah, let's revive her. Allow this heart. Okay, that was the worst day ever. <laughs> okay, the adventure was already. You can take them on the adventure by inviting them to the party and the dragons have in. So yeah, let's do that. So as we can revive like all those other people. That was from when I was playing with like all these other individuals, and I was like getting matched up with ridiculously high level people that were just way higher level than me <laughs> just ridiculously higher than me so let instead of amelia let's go with uh philia there she goes that's the source and again that was the one that caused so much controversy because of her busty chest it was incredibly insane with how many people just wild out about it it's not that big of a deal to me you know as long as you know it's in line with the rest of that like look you have this character here she's also busty it's like there's all types of women uh body types in here even though there's some that are more exaggerated than others like look at that that walk cycle <laughs> that's what people wild out about but yeah it doesn't bother me too much i'll learn skills do i have any skills to learn uh let's go to the common any other stuff that i could pick up pick up coins uh what is it because i got two skill points nutritionist the effectiveness of healing food uh grants a chance that using a temporary item won't decrease the number of uses uh reduces cooldown between using items uh increase the number of times you can evade deep pockets increase the number of item slots and bags well yeah i already just boost that up use the chance to take it down an enemy when sliding hmm huh. because i already got the fatality boost so you know what pick up coins picking up coins adds to your score yes let's do that let's boost that up and let's also boost Picking up, picking up coins recovers HP. That's very good. It costs two to power up some of these. Then uh, reduce cool time between using items. Yeah, let's do that just to do some cool time. Now, I bet you if I went to the fighter, there would have been an attack boost here. Oh, wait, no, these are just regular... Regular boosts. So all the other different ones. Okay, so yeah, I'm not that bad. Okay, cool. Any quest? Oh, no, we... Re Hmm. Surprise, like, do we get any of these quests? Okay, so you have to just do these. Yeah, these are like bonus little quests you could do while going on certain ones. Alright, let's go. Let's go get these peeps. Let's go kick some ass. Look at that. Look at that warrior. He's ready. <laughs> Look at the dwarf is ready. He's lagging behind, but it doesn't matter. He's coming behind. He's on this. He's in this. And our mage is just there. So, yeah, let's go online again. Uh, what is it? Hmm, join Lara for Chaos Floor 2? No, no, we're already online. So no, we're good. So let's just go into the gate. It'll put us in another spot. And we go from there. So where are we going? Hi, Lynn. Look at it. Look at this artwork, man. It's so good. We're going to another spot we didn't need to go to, but it's okay. Underground Labyrinth. I, is this the water one? I wonder if, like, this is the, the one that has, like, the water enemies and stuff. This underground lab is okay. Let's go. By the magician Wallace in a single night. Oh, look at okay. Look at these fools. Hey, you want some of these? Yeah. 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 Coming down. Look at that. Look at that damage my mage is just doing. Like, he just does not give a damn. He's just smacking everybody. Up. There's a torch. Let's... Grabbing all this. Free the fairy. Free the fairy there. Open this up. Look at that fire damage. Hit him with the torch. Let's go. And it does hardly anything, but I don't care. <laughs> Look at that nasty damage. Just beat that guy trying to steal the treasure. Okay, we got more treasure though. Let's get that. Look at that. Look at the dwarf. He just like tossed people. Jeez. Getting all this food. There goes our boy. Grab the cheese. Anything over here? Well, that's our that's our ally now. Nice. We got a little ally tree folk. Hey, hold on, what's this? Okay, let's go. <laughs> Next room. Hmm. 
Check out, check out the little mouse. That is totally a nod to Disney with Mickey Mouse and the Sorcerer's Apprentice. Straight up it is, which is hilarious. Ronan darts around begins talking. Yeah, he's talking smack. He says that wayward wizards have waylaid the labyrinth again. There must be a <laughs> I love it. It's so funny. Which, path which battle will you take? take? Crush the magicians invading the labyrinth. Oh, uh, the magic laboratory and regain control of the laboratory. Delve further into the labyrinth to reclaim the prison key that was stolen from the laboratory. Crush the magicians. Yeah, you know what? Let's crush the magicians. Because we're going to fight the doom beetle. So yeah, we're good. We're going with my first bag. I'm gonna go with my first bag. We're all good. The door to the help our boy out. Let's help out Mickey. Can't bring back any more bones. Okay, no magic there. Because there's runes there. What you could do in this game, which I think is cool. Your touch screen, your, yeah, your touch, uh, touch screen, touch pad, could be used to interact with background objects to cast spells, and it's especially key with the magician characters where they do all sorts of stuff. Like it's pretty nuts. Nice. Okay, hold on, let the homeboy get this treasure. Get that treasure, fool. Yeah. Look at all these items, all these things that we're picking up. Well we, got, well, we got two allies now. Okay. Okay, we got two allies now. We got two allies that are helping us out where we're going to just deal with some of this stuff. So here we go. We're in the laboratory now. Again, I can see the runes in the background, but like, I'm, I'm a fighter here, so... It's like, I'm just gonna destroy these fools. Look at that. Yeah. We got him. Messed him up. Where are the rest of them? Destroy. So let's go over into here. Open that up, and then we gotta open up this one as well. Open that one up too. Let's go in here. There goes a big chest. Look at that massive damage, son! Got skeletons. Whoops. Missed them there. There we go. Yeah. I got hit there, and he smacked me up, and I'm smacking him back up. Nice. I love how my allies are just wrecking shop with me. I love it. So I can't bring back any bones. So how do we open this up? The thing is, I don't know the combination. Because then we'll get that treasure chest, but eh. I guess not. Hold on. It's there. It's that up here. Look at, ooh, look at that. Just, you saw that? Just by interacting with everything. We got a whole bunch of so there we go cast spell extra stock will restore his uh, one item item use okay nice i don't remember any of the spells but i'll take it let's just keep going i know there's a way to open up that gate but i'm not even gonna bother with it now at the moment I'm just gonna be cool let's open this up here come on thief let's do this yeah yeah now is it boss fight time because the laboratory was being misused... No, it's not boss fight time, but it will be soon. Now run Destroy the fungi and other twisted creatures here in order to prevent the fungus forest from spreading further. I'm just smacking up all the fungi. Okay, there it goes. Because hitting it with my weapon's much better. I want to use it barehanded. Oh, where's my dude? He got killed. No. Let's grab all this. Got a flamethrower. So we gotta go this way? Wait, did we destroy the fungus or? Oh no, there we go. Okay, so no, we have to destroy it like that. Let's open it up. Let's go in there. Let's see what's up here. Cheesecake and crackers. It's so funny. Okay, so yeah. Get that garbage out of my face. Oh, jeez. Got stunned. Got turned into stone there. Get that garbage out of here. Get this other one out of here. Ugh. Whoa, where's my weapon? Where is it? Where's my weapon? 
heal up a little bit. Where is my mace? Don't tell me it broke. Arrow in the knee. <laughs> I just saw that. It's funny. Okay, there it is. Okay, yeah, now I got it back. I was like, where the hell did my weapon go? Now, that is one criticism I can say about Dragon's Crown, is that sometimes it's a little hard to see where certain things are. Especially when things get so crowded with all the stats and stuff. But keep in mind, like, I'm already late game, where a lot of that is going to happen a lot more frequently. But massive damage, so yeah. Destroy them. We got everything. Okay, good. Now we're, now we're good. Let's go back out this way. Nope. Let's get all that treasure. Now we gotta go back out through the other door. Up this way. Let's go. Is it boss fight time, though? I think it should be soon. It should be boss fight time soon. Nice. Big damage. Oh my god. We got bugs. Okay, I gotta defeat this thing. Oh my god, look at all those disgusting bugs, those wasps. All this organic nonsense. Got him. There we go. I can't even pick up any more food because I'm like, I'm still full health. So I'm still all good. <laughs> Hopefully the rest of my my teammates can pick it up. We gotta go this way. There we go. Nice. Oh yeah. Massive damage. Look at him. That dude is like hitting like all of them like with just one beam. Freaking nice. Okay, hold on. Let's open that up. Get in there. Now I don't like how. Standing still, okay, no. Standing still doesn't eat up all your stuff if you're already at full health. That's good. That's good to know. There we go. Okay, there we go. Going to the next door. We're almost getting done to the video towards the boss fight. Once the boss fight's done here, I think we're good. But let's uh, free... Free the fairy here. Ah, that red damage. Look at that. Look at that nonsense. Jeez, homeboy with the spells and our allies just like wrecking shop. Like, just destroying everybody. And we can't pick it up because we already have too many bones. All these bones we're finding and we can't, like, we can't use them. Like, we can't bring them back to the to the temple or to the, the church. What's in this box? One more food. Okay, yeah, we're good. Good, I got 999 health. Out of, uh, what is it? Out of 684. That means I got stupid health boost. <laughs> Alright, it's boss fight time. The Doom Beetle, yeah! I like how he just came in and started screaming. He's like, yeah, son! Let's go! Okay, Delicy deliver. Gotta destroy the Doom Cocoons. Where are the Doom Cocoons at? Oh, damn. Where's my ass? Where am I? Just beat the freaking hell out of this thing. Okay, hold on. Let's destroy the cocoon. Okay, got the Doom Cocoon there. Where's the other one at? Okay, down here. I'm getting hit by this stamp thing. There we go. Got him. Destroy the Doom Cocoon. Another Doom Cocoon. Now let's hit that boss. Let's smack him. Okay, hold on. No, get back in there. There's massive damage. Okay, get up. Get up. Got my thing there. Ugh, big attack. Look at that damage we're doing. So we were doing, I should say. Okay, hold on. Let's uh, get rid of this. Got him. Okay, I threw my weapon on the ground with my ability. I'll get my... There we go. 
Ugh, I'm gonna get him. Final attack. No, I got him knocked away. Get him, get him, get him, get him. Nice. They did a spell on him. Sweet. Destroyed the Doom Beat. Look at, look at that design, man. Look at that armor. So good. Vanillaware, so freaking good, man. Look at that. And we got some treasure. So let's make our way back to town. So let's return to town. That was pretty cool. Fun little distraction today. Look at that. Look at that gold he's flipping. And we leveled up to level 74. Okay, cool. Completed quest. Got a whole bunch of stuff. You know what? Let's let's just sell them all. I don't even care. Let's just sell everything. Or wait, hold on. Let's let's uh what is this? You know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna take that. And the rest of it, no, we're gonna sell. Which is gonna make mad coin. We're gonna make mad coin out here. <laughs> mad coin for us. And there we go. So let's go back to the tavern, save. Uh, and yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Okay, I hope you guys enjoyed this little JJ's first 20, or first 25, technically. Uh, but yeah, let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. Uh, don't forget to leave a, a like on this video, subscribe to the channel, and uh, again, share around the channel. Let everybody know that we're out here doing more content. More reviews coming very soon, and other content that I know you guys are going to love. I'll talk to you all again real soon. Peace out, and stay epic, everybody.